Happy Monday, my friends. And happy July. I'm on the road. It's that time of year where I take respite with my family, with God, and uh, with God's creation. And so I'm on an airplane today, heading up to Massachusetts, and I'll be nestled in the small town of Chatham, which is right in the elbow of the Cape, and just a place that brings back deep roots of memories for my family and my family system, and for Kate and her family system. It's a time where we get to spend time with grandma, we get to spend time with aunts and uncles and cousins, and now the cousins are all older, so they have their own things they're doing, and it's beautiful and wonderful. I don't have to mow the lawn. I cook once in a while, but not very often. I get to go swimming, catch a fish, and then eat the fish. Yes, and believe it or not, I actually read a book once or twice. When I go over the bridge to get to the Cape Cod from the mainland, um, that's the time where my, I can feel my body physically just let go. It takes me about three days to wind down. But once I do, I'm, uh, I wear basically the same looking outfit every day. It's pretty relaxed, pretty mellow. My journey this month of July is I have a heart that's so full of gratitude for all we are doing here at St. Thomas and all that you are doing right now. This month in particular, our staff, Amanda and Donna and Catherine, have just worked so hard. I'm so grateful for them. I'm grateful for our wardens. I'm grateful for our vestry finance, but I'm also really grateful for the pastoral care team right now under Lenore's leadership. And I'm grateful for June's leadership for the funeral committee. It's historic. I think we had six funerals this month. And this parish rallied. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for holding these families and holding them in the palm of our hands the way God does and reminding them how much we love them and how much God loves them so that we can celebrate what it means to be in a community. Life can get so busy, and yet it is important, even to me, believe it or not, to slow down and breathe and find a new tempo, a new pace. So, um, I'll be practicing that this month. And uh, yes, that will include a few baseball games and a few other things that are nice and slow for several hours. But I'll keep running every morning. I'll be praying every day and giving thanks for St. Thomas. And I look forward to what God's gonna, how God's gonna be working through us while I'm gone, but also when I come back. We've got great things planned for the rest of this year and I look forward to all of it. But it begins now with you. It begins with your prayer life and my own. So uh, when you can make it here on Sunday mornings, please come. We've got some great clergy coming in. We'll have great music coming in. And more importantly, opportunity to be in community in this more relaxed way this summer. And then I'll see you in time for Vacation Bible School. Wishing you all a blessed month of July. And more importantly, pray for me because I'll be praying for you. God bless you.